The Earth is a large and diverse planet, and many of the different forms of life in it can take on many shapes and sizes. There are very tiny organisms that can live as a single cell, such as a bacterium. Most bacteria are shaped like rods and spheres, though there are a few other types. These bacteria are relatively simple and can't do all the things that humans, plants, and animals can do. This brings us to our other class of organisms. This group is physically much larger, more complex, and made of billions or even trillions of cells. Did you know that the average human body is made of roughly 10 trillion cells? This group has many different organisms, including humans, and ranges from things like the small butterfly, the large lion, and even the massive whale. Let us focus more on the human body. In the human body, there are many separate systems that work together to keep you healthy and make you, you. First, there's your digestive system, which includes organs like your stomach, intestines, both small and large, your pancreas, and many others. These together hold your food and break it down into usable nutrients that allow you to enjoy your daily meals and get the nutrients you need to acquire to grow. Next up is your respiratory system. This system keeps you breathing. When you take in a breath, air enters in your nose, down your trachea, through your bronchi, into smaller bronchioles, and finally into tiny little sacs called alveoli that inflate with air. You can remember the interior structure of your lungs as each bronchus resembles a tree trunk, and your bronchioles as the many smaller branches that reach out throughout your lungs. The alveoli are like balloons spread all throughout the ends of the bronchioles, and they inflate every time you breathe. Next is your circulatory system, which incorporates the use of your heart. You can think of your circulatory system as a network of pipes that carries blood to and from your heart, the pump. There are smaller and larger vessels involved in circulation, but mainly your heart pumps blood to the rest of your body through arteries while blood returns to your heart through veins. Next is your muscular and skeletal system. Your skeletal system is comprised of different interconnected and attached bones made of calcium that give your blood structure and form. Did you know that there are 206 different bones in the human body? Attached to these bones are muscles that comprise your muscular system. Muscles are tissues made of mainly protein, and they allow you to do everything from walking, running, jumping, to simply smiling and holding your pencil. So you have all these seemingly very different organs that make up your various body systems, but did you know that all these specialized cells that make up your body came from a single cell known as a zygote? This zygote cell is the first cell of your body and soon begins to divide rapidly using the process of mitosis. Mitosis is the process where one cell splits into two cells and this repeats over and over again. Once the single cell divides into many cells, it develops into three different layers, the outer, inner, and middle layers. After formation of the three layers, the cells don't know what they're supposed to do. To communicate, they send chemical messages to each other that tell them what they're supposed to become, like passing notes in class. From here, the various layers become specialized tissue that makes up your organs. For instance, the outer layer will make your skin and nerves, the inner layer will make your lungs, among others, and the middle layer will make your blood, heart, bones, and others. So to summarize, everyone starts as a single cell. That cell divides using mitosis until it reaches a point where it develops into three layers. Those three layers make your new cells specialized and will eventually become your body's tissues that comprise your organs.